This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. Today, we're finally revealing the secret behind those powerful Excel dashboards with one-click refresh, dark mode, and full screen view. Get ready, because we're unlocking the true power of Excel automation together. Watch this. Dark mode on, dark mode off, dark mode on, dark mode off. This is the toggle button we're going to explore. And one more thing. If I click this refresh button, the dashboard will instantly update with the latest data. Any changes in the source data? No problem. One click and the dashboard automatically refreshes. The last one is the full screen mode. If I click this, I can see the entire Excel ribbon and all editing options. If I click again, I can return to full screen dashboard view, clean and distraction free. Click once for editable mode, click again for full screen mode. That's exactly what we're going to build in this tutorial. Let's jump in. Step one, create the three buttons today. We'll add three buttons, refresh button for dark mode and one more full screen button. Let's start with creating the full screen button. First, make sure your file is saved as a macro enabled workbook.xlsm. It should not be the regular Excel file format. It must be macro enabled. I've already saved mine, so I'll skip that part. Step two, open the VBA editor, go to the developer tab, click on Visual Basic, then go to Insert Within Module. Click on the new module and rename it as full underscore screen. Now let's start writing the code. Type, sub hide all, active window. Display horizontal scroll bar, equals false, active window. Display vertical scroll bar, equals false, active window. Display headings, equals false, active window. Display workbook tabs, equals false, application. Display status bar, equals false, application. Display formula bar equals false application. Execute Excel 4. Macro show toolbar. Ribbon false. Application. Display full screen equals true. Range B1. Value equals 2. End sub. Now copy the same code, paste it below, and make some changes. Change the macro name to show underscore all and reverse all the settings to true. Display full screen equals false. Execute Excel 4. Macro show toolbar ribbon true range B1. Value 1 end sub. Now we need a switch macro to toggle between both. Sub switch view. If range B1, value equals 2. Then range B1, value equals 1. Call show. All else range B1. Value equals two, call hide all end, if end sub. That's it, your macro is ready. Save the file once, then go back to Excel. Step three, add the button for full screen, go to insert, illustrations, icons, search for screen, and select an appropriate icon. Click insert. Cut and paste it on your dashboard where you want the button. Resize it and position it properly. Right click on the icon, assign macro, select switch underscore view. 
Now, test it out. Click the button. The dashboard switches to full screen mode. Click it again. The editable mode reappears, showing all ribbons and editing tools. This makes switching between dashboard and design mode very smooth. Next, let's create the refresh button. We already have data and pivot tables in our dashboard. Normally, to refresh everything, we go to the Data tab and click Refresh All, which updates all pivot tables. Now we'll automate that using VBA. Go back to the Developer tab, click Visual Basic, insert a new module. Rename it as Refresh. and type this simple code, sub refresh all. Active workbook, refresh all. MSG box, dashboard updated. End sub. That's it, very simple. Now go back to Excel and insert another icon. Insert greater than illustrations, greater than icons. Search for refresh. Select your favorite design and click Insert. Resize the icon, position it nicely near your full screen button. Right click it, assign macro, select Refresh All. Now test it out. Change some data, click the Refresh button, and you'll see all pivot tables instantly update. You'll also get a message box confirming Dashboard Updated. Now we have a refresh button, a full screen button. All two are interactive and work perfectly. Refresh button instantly updates all pivot tables. Full screen button switches between editable mode and full screen view. And that's it. This is how you can create an interactive professional Excel dashboard with VBA automation. Next, let's create the dark mode and light mode toggle button. Switches dashboard colors. We already have a dashboard here, so I'm going to copy and paste the entire dashboard tab. Right-click on the tab, select Move or Copy, choose Create a Copy, and click OK. Now I'll change this copy into Dark Mode. How to create a Dark Mode dashboard in Excel. We've already copy-pasted our new tab, the Dashboard. Now we'll turn this copy into Dark Mode. Let's create a dark mode version step by step. Step one, select the background shapes. Once the shapes are selected, go to the home tab and change the color. We'll now apply the dark mode styling step by step. Format the header. Let's start with the header. Select the header shape, go to shape fill and choose no fill. Inside the text box, change the text color to white. Next, select the icons one by one. Go to Graphics Fill and set the color to white. Do the same for all icons. Make sure each one is white. Select all background shapes together. Go to Shape Fill and select No Fill. Then, change the text color of all labels and values to white. Repeat this for each section, the values, labels, and titles. Everything should now appear in white text on a dark background, giving the dashboard a consistent dark mode look. 
Repeat this for all charts to ensure a consistent appearance. Almost done. Just one last chart left. Let's apply the same procedure for this final one as well. Now you'll notice that all graphs have clean white labels, perfectly matching the dark theme. Final touches. Let's format the lower section so it blends nicely with the dashboard. Select the shape, go to Shape Format, and set No Fill. Delete any unnecessary elements, then copy and paste the formatted shape where needed. For slicers, go to Slicer Design and choose the customized slicer style that fits your dark theme. Do this for all slicers to maintain a consistent look. Review the dashboard now. Take a look. Your complete dashboard is in dark mode. Everything looks clean and visually appealing. Let's double check for anything we might have missed. The entire dashboard is successfully converted to dark mode. Let's rename this new tab to dark mode. And the original one to light mode. So now we have two versions, dark mode and light mode. Writing the macro for dark and light mode, go to the developer tab, click visual basic, and then insert the module. In the Properties window, give the module a name, dark underscore light underscore mode. Now let's start building the macro code. First, I'll write the code for dark mode, sheets, sales dashboard, light. Visible equals true sheets. Sales dashboard, light. Activate range A1. Select next. I'll copy this first code, paste it, and modify it for dark mode. So, I'll change the sheet reference to dark mode and set its visibility to false where needed. Then, copy complete code, paste it again, below. Then, I'll repeat the same for light mode. Change the sheet reference to dark mode. Final one sheet reference to dark mode light mode. Making sure that when one mode is active, the other one becomes hidden. That's it. We now have the complete code ready. Now let's go back to our dashboard. Go to insert way illustrations, shapes, and bring in a shape for the toggle button. I'll draw a round circle on the right side of the dashboard. Remove the border, no outline. And change its color to blue. Then resize it properly. Next, I'll add one more circle shape. This time, make it white. Set no outline and adjust its size and alignment to look like a toggle switch. Now, select both circles, go to Shape Format, and group them together. Then, move the grouped button to the position where you want your toggle to appear. Right-click the button, select Assign Macro, and assign it to the Light Mode Macro. Click OK. Now let's test it. If I click this button, the dashboard switches to Dark Mode, creating the Light Mode button. Now let's create the same button for Light Mode. I already have one prepared, so I'll bring that button here. I'll assign the Light Mode Macro to this button in the same way. Let's test it out. If I click this one, it switches to Light Mode. If I click the other one, it switches back to dark mode. Testing all dashboard buttons. Let's test everything together. Click this button, dashboard goes to full screen mode. Click again, returns to normal view. Click the refresh button, dashboard updates instantly. Click the dark slash light toggle, instantly switches themes. So now you can go full screen and back, refresh all data and pivot tables, switch between dark and light mode anytime, and still access all editing options easily. That's it. Thank you so much for your time. Also, for learning how to build this complete dashboard from scratch, we've already uploaded a detailed tutorial. Please check it out link description and try to build a similar one yourself. Now your Excel dashboard looks like a real professional tool with dark mode, refresh, and full screen buttons, all in one click.
Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials.